Hey guys, this is Tyler. Welcome back to, to another tutorial. This this short, semi-short tutorial will be about the map editor and how how to do basics on texturing um, in 3D Studio Max. Now, I was messaged by a few of you guys saying I was too fast hitting buttons in the ambient occlusion tutorial. So this one should explain how to do all of that from the ground up. Alright, so with that said, let's get started. I'm going to make a plane. I'm going to make a, uh, a box. I'm going to make a tube. Nah, a torus. I'm going to make torus. Torus is a cool. And I'm going to make a cylinder. No. A sphere. Let's make a sphere. Alright, so those are the primitives. I'm going to press W so I can move it around. Um, by the way, W is moving it, E is scaling it, um, rotating it, sorry, you don't see it there, but you'll see it there, and R is scaling it. My computer's a little slow. Alright, so, I'm going to hit this button way down here, maximize viewport, so I can see everything in, like, one viewport. <laughs> Next is to press M after I render it real quick. Alright, M, map editor. By default, you see this. It's called the slate editor. Um, it's new in 2011, 2012, but I personally have not touched it at all, so I. It looks, it's cool and all, it's like the Maya version, but it's, I don't, I don't use it, so, I, I, I go to the standard one, and, and this is how you do it, so you go to modes, compact, this is, and this, if you saw my other tutorial, this is what you saw, so zoom out, we're gonna make a, we're gonna, find a good position okay so you can do e you can do a ton of things in the material editor uh, these are all presets um, you don't need to know everything about them but this is a thumbnail so whatever whatever you do here affects the thumbnail like Photoshop so you double click it's default default it's like it's really small so I just kinda made it bigger um, and first of all, let's name it. Um, so let's name cube. Let's select the cube and let's go over. Let's go over what these do. So the first one is get material. So say you got something on your scene, and you're like, oh man, I have that material. But I don't but I don't have it in my editor right here. How am I gonna select it? Ah, oh. so what you do is you select your ground or whatever, and then you click that button and it'll show and it'll show up in the thumbnail. Put material, assign material to selection will assign it. See how that turned gray? Because what whatever this is right here it's it, it's that material all right so next one is to delete it this one is well to make a copy um, you don't need to know this you don't need to know this until very very far down the line um, it's very very it's very handy it's it's really cool um, the next one I'll show you what this does it's it's very neat um, I recommend using it as much as you can when we get there, but it may bog your system down. Okay. So these are presets. Um, first of all, astronomic is something that's super reflectiony. Blend is blend is the default. Metal is metal. Um, you know, I'm not gonna go over them. You can just go over them on your own it's not that big of a deal um, 
but we'll stick with blend. So I'm going to hit diffuse, double click on diffuse. We're going to change it to what's not on the scene. I'm thinking red. Okay, so I'm thinking like a pink red. Alright, so if you notice, hey look, it changed it as soon as I changed it in the editor. Um, next one is self-illumination. What it does is it from a gradient scale of black to white, black will make it, uh, white will make it 100% um, saturated and black will make it faded. See how it's doing that? We can also change it by doing, by uh, clicking this button right here and then we just up and then down. It generally it works well with like lights, like bulb light bulbs. This is this is before and this is hundred percent after. You notice how there's no there's no lines right there. It's it kinda looks like like poop, but whatever. Um by the way, if you if you uh, right click, it sets the the things to zero. Same with this. Okay, well, it didn't for that, but <laughs> everything else in in this program will do that. Um, in the in the modifiers or whatever. So next is opacity, self-explanatory, makes it opaque. Not really much to explain here. Um, make a new make a new one and we're gonna call this guy um, Taurus I don't know how to spell it so I'm gonna keep it over there as a reference T-O-R-U-S um, Taurus is so cool I like Taurus uh, alright so I'm gonna assign this guy I'm gonna change it to whatever it was it was a like green or something I'm gonna zoom up a little bit Notice how it changed in the render. Uh, double click it. Oh, this is the default size, by the way. See how small it is. Okay, so. Specularity is let's say the sunlight is hitting here, you're going to have a shadow here. That's what specularity is. Um, so if you up the specularity um, level, it'll make the highlight highlights in this example more apparent usually makes it like like look at that that's 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 crazy right there um the glossiness pinches it it makes it like more precise see it's like a rubber tube in this in a in this pool of water it's a terrible example i know okay so we will put this back to default, which was something like that, I'm guessing. Okay, so go down the uh, extended parameters. You don't need to know until you're an advanced user. Same with super sampling. Those are two great things. Same with mental ray connection down here. You don't need to know that. Let's go to maps. Maps are fun. Maps are great. Maps are just fantastic. <laughs> Alright, so anything that you select here, let's let's say, hey, I have a picture of a mountain. How do how am I gonna project that mountain onto this torus or whatever? Whatever texture. Click here. Click on bitmap. And these are the this is this came default with the program. So I'm just gonna grab it right now. Um, I'm gonna grab the face. Sure, it's gonna look weird. It looks fine there, but <laughs> let me tell you, it's not gonna look fine. Um, let me let me assign it to this one instead because a face is round, not a 